Install a Flex Mendel default configuration file. Uh, our open source Flex Mendel 3D printer recommends using slicer uh, slicing software. There's others out there, um, but when you purchase the Flex Mendel 3D printer, you are probably supplied with a configuration file. And this configuration file contains all the proper settings for the majority of your 3D printing needs. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to create a folder entitled config files. We're going to go to our Windows Explorer. We're going to go to this PC. Uh, we're going to click on Windows C Drive. Then we're going to right click in this area. And I'm going to say new folder. And I'm going to give it a name of stem. 1502 and I'm going to hit enter. Now you can name this file whatever your class name is. Um, this is just happens to be my class name but you can name it whatever you like. It doesn't have to be STEM 1502. Next we're going to uh, double click on this STEM 1502 right click and we are going to say we want a new folder and we're going to call this slicer and I'm going to hit enter and we're going to double click on slicer and we're going to right click we're going to say create new folder and we're going to call it config files Now, we need in step number two to locate or download the appropriate config file for our 3D printer. So, if you have uh, a learning management system, you might need to download it from there. Uh, so, you want to go and download it. If it does, uh, it'll ask you, like in Canvas, do you want to keep this file because it might be harmful? You want to say, yes, keep it. And then it's going to click the say show in a folder and, and then you'll find the file. Maybe it was given to you in an email, maybe it was given to you on a flash drive. So however you get it, you download it in some regards. I'm going to go to my downloads like it was given to me by my instructor. I downloaded it here. I'm going to right click and then say copy. And now I'm going to go out to that location, my C drive, and I'm going to go to 1502 slicer and config files and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say paste and now I just place my config file my default config file which ends in an INI file type um, so I just pasted the default config file in that new folder step three next we want to open up, step four, open up our Slicer software. I'm going to double click on Slicer and open it up. You'll notice right off the bat it's in simple mode. It guesses at all your uh, values and settings. So what we want to do is we want to go up to File. We want to go down to Load Config. We click on that and we want to go out to the folder that we just created. So I want to come down here and I can go to my, uh, this is my PC or my Windows C, either or, like I can go right here, click, this is my PC, and then I can go to Windows C, and I can scroll down here whichever way you like to do it, or on the left. Then I can go to STEM 15.2, whatever, or whatever your class name is. I'm going to go to Slicer. I'm going to go to Config Files by double-clicking on those. Now, I'm going to select this default configuration file, and it's a .ini file type, and I'm going to say Open. And you can see over here, it's populated my printer settings, my filament settings, and my printer settings. 
all with those settings. So when I put in a file in, it will have I you'll have the ability then to start changing these. If I go over here to say printer settings, um, you can see that not much is in here yet because I don't have a file loaded yet. Once I get a file loaded, I can play with all those settings that I want. All right. Um, so uh, let me just do that. Let me just go and say I want to open an STL file. I'm going to load this up. Now that I have a file in there, I can go up to my settings and go to my print settings. And now all of my print settings, all these uh, default settings are in place uh, from my KCC Flex Mental Default settings. All right, so I can come in here and I can change them for my particular needs. But these are uh, suggested default settings uh, for my particular 3D printer. So we just installed our default uh, config file for uh, the Flex Mendel. So this is install a Flex Mendel default configuration file. 